Okay, in this video today, so what I want to do is I want to show you how to root uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This is on uh, Jelly Bean 4.1.2. Um, the method I'm going to show you today um, is just one way to root this, okay? Um, I know there'll be people who watch this and they'll say, well, do it this way or do it that way. This is just one way to root your, to root your uh, Galaxy Note. The good thing about doing it this way is it gets you prepared so that um, so that if you choose to flash custom ROMs in the future, then uh, then you can do that. And it also kind of um, give you a little bit of, of background of how to use how to use another program with with this um, with your Galaxy Note 2. Okay, so, so what I want to do is we're gonna flash um, we're gonna flash a custom recovery through this Odin. Um, flashing program and uh, I'll have a link to this site right here where you want to download this Odin 3 version 3.03 .03, do the regular download and then you'll download that it's just four tenths of a megabyte so a pretty small file so that's going to be the program we need on our computer to be able to flash um, uh, to flash the the custom recovery to it so that's one thing that you need to download now the other thing you need to download is the custom recovery and um, so here on this first tab, I've got the this uh, open up here to this open recovery. TWRP stands for Team Win Recovery po uh, Project, and that's what we're going to use as our custom recovery. And I'm just going to download the latest one. As of the as of this video, it's 2.6.3.0, and you want to download the one that's that ends in .tar with the .tar file extension. Okay, so you'll want to just click on this and then go and just download that file now mine as I said and I showed you there on the back of my phone is an AT&T version um, you can go over here and I'll have a link to all of these uh, but you can go here and you can download it you can see here well back over here you can see AT&T here's for T-Mobile here's for Sprint here's for Verizon and then for the N7100 for the international version. So I'll put a link to all of these. So depending on which carrier your phone is from, you'll want to choose the uh, the, the proper one, the individual one that you need there. So you need to download the Odin flashing program, and you need to download the correct Team Win Recovery Project um, uh, file here. And again, it's always going to be this last one down here, the closest to the bottom ones, and it ends in .tar. Okay, now I want to show you before I start here... One of the easiest ways to see if you have root or not is to is to download the Titanium Backup Program, which is a very good program. And uh, once you open up that Titanium, you'll see here it says, "Sorry, I cannot acquire root privileges." So my phone right now is not rooted. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn my phone off. So just long press, power it off. Okay, while that's powering off, okay, I've got I've got this Odin program that we downloaded. This is the first thing I showed you. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Okay, so that's opened. Now back to my phone. It's what I want to do with my phone is I want to put it into into download mode. So the way that I do that, it's completely powered off. Okay, I'm gonna push the volume down button. Hold that, push the home button, and then push the power button, and then hold all three of those. So again, that was volume down, home, and power, and it brings me to this. And I'm going to push volume up to continue, and now I'm into download mode. All right, now I'm going to connect USB from my computer to my, um, to my Galaxy Note 2. And over here on my computer, you can see how it's reading this on a port right here on COM12. So my computer now recognizes that my phone is hooked up to it. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to the PDA button. On that PDA, I want to go and find uh, the correct open recovery all right, let's see. I've got it here for my original note and for my note 2. So it's this one right here. Open recovery 2.6.3.0 for 
for that's for my Galaxy Note 2 on AT&T. Okay? So I opened that up into the PDA slot and I'm going to push start here. And this won't take very long at all. It's just flashing over this recovery, very small. Boom, reset and my phone's already reset. So once it gets to that point, I can go ahead and unplug my phone. Okay, I'm just waiting for it to boot back up here. And I'm just going to power it back off now. So power off. There it goes. So it's completely dead now. Now, so what I want to do is I want to boot back into uh, my uh, into my custom recovery, that team win recovery that we just flashed to it. Okay. So the way we get into our uh, our recovery is now instead of volume down, I'm going to do volume up. So hold volume up, push the home button, then push the power, and then hold all three of those together. Continue holding. And in a second, it'll come up to our team win. Okay, so now from here we can do all kinds of things. You can wipe it. Uh, you can install custom uh, custom ROMs. All kinds of things there, um, and and all kinds of options. Which if you don't know what you're doing, then then obviously don't mess with that stuff. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to reboot system and with this newest team win recovery project it's able to detect whether you're rooted or not and you can see here it says do you want it does not appear to be rooted do you want to install super su super user and so yes we want to install that because that's what's going to actually root our device so we're going to swipe to install so it's what's going to happen now is my phone's going to boot back up and then it's going to bring me back into the the super su installer and from there we'll just we'll click on yes and we'll allow it to boot back into twrp and then from there it'll 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 root the phone for us so i'm just going to wait here for just a second let this thing boot up and i'll show you how it asks about this uh super su installer Okay, so you can see there. So Super SU Installer, tap to install Super SU and root your device. So yes, I want it to do that, and I want to do it through TWRP. It's going to download it. it won't take long at all there. I'm going to push continue. Now it's going to boot back into TWRP now, and it's going to uh, run through the sequence to root, uh, to root the device, and then you'll be good to go. So I'm going to let this root and then boot back up and then I'm going to open up Titanium and show you that it did indeed root our device here. Okay, so it did what it needed to there. We're going to boot back up.
Okay, and I'm going to go back to Titanium. You can see how we have that Super SU there now that wasn't there before. Click on Titanium, asking for root rights. Granted. Okay.